Welcome to Accelerated Health Bites. I'm Sarah Banton. If you like what you hear today, please hit the subscribe button and share with those who may need my help. I'm only one person, but with your help, we as a team can help many others accelerate their bodies, minds, and spirits and reach their optimal state of health. Today, I'm talking about oxalates. You may not have heard of them, but my goodness, if you suffer from a high oxalate load, you will definitely know about them. I've been down the road of every diet from the high sugar, low fat diet to a low carb, high vegetable diet and protein diet to a paleo diet to a vegan diet to a carnivore diet and now to a specific high protein diet incorporating foods that cooperate with my DNA. So this journey you get to benefit from. I've made every mistake and I've learned along the way. Through each phase, I saw the pros and cons and I just couldn't find the exact right fix. Currently, I'm sticking to the foods that don't trigger disruptive detoxification pathways and I feel good. It's when I get too cocky and splurge that my body retaliates. So I know cutting more foods out of your diet makes you feel limited or can be frustrating, but you have to weigh the options of feeling your best without pain and full of energy versus enjoying the momentary taste buds experiencing when you are eating that food. So saying that I'm not perfect and I struggle with the same issue. Currently, Personally, I'm suffering from what's called oxalate overload. In me, I notice extreme edema and water retention as my kidneys aren't able to clear the urine properly. And I'm also noticing more aches and pains. And when I wake up in the morning, I have a skin rash that comes and goes. And I think I just passed a kidney stone. I've had three babies gone through labor and delivery and having a kidney stone was much worse. So I don't recommend it. Let's go back to what are oxalates? Oxalic acid is a naturally occurring molecule that's a toxic and corrosive acid. And when it attaches itself to a mineral like calcium, magnesium, potassium, or salt, it becomes an oxalate. Sodium oxalate, potassium oxalate, magnesium oxalate, you get the idea. So where do these come from? Plants make the oxalic acid for their mineral management, seed germination, and just defense. You eat the plants and the oxalic acid combines with the minerals such as calcium in your body, and it gets deposited in your tissues, organs, and bones. And the most obvious foods high in oxalic acids include beans, the grains, bran, seeds, peanuts, almonds, 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 spinach, those two foods right there, just eliminate them completely. Swiss chard, beets, potatoes, chocolate, rhubarb, figs, kiwis, blackberries. You get the idea. My thing was turmeric. I was doing turmeric for helping with inflammation and didn't know that it was actually causing an oxalate overload in my body. Your body makes the oxalate. Oxalate is a metabolic waste product with no known function in the body. So what is oxalate poisoning? This, the oxalate steel minerals, including iron, calcium, magnesium, zinc that your body needs, and any digestive issue like leaky gut, Crohn's disease, autoimmune issues can increase the amount of oxalates that deposit in your body. And so many people are suffering from these gut issues. So if you have any urinary problems, that may reduce the amount of oxalates that excrete from the body. When you have more coming in than going out, you're going to experience that oxalate poisoning. So what are some symptoms? pain and connective tissue problems. If you're feeling unstable, weak, easily injured, slow to heal, then the oxalates might be the problem. They interfere with normal uh, connective tissue maintenance and repair, leading to the weaker joints, thin, easily damaged skin membranes, and persistent scarring. And when they accumulate, they tend to increase scarring and inhibit that, that recovery. They also perpetuate inflammatory conditions. So you might experience joint problems like gout, rheumatoid arthritis, stiffness, soreness, swelling, inability or instability, and tendonitis. 
You also may experience osteoporosis, weak or broken bones, cracked teeth. Calcium is an oxalate magnet. The calcium that you need for strong bones and teeth combines readily with oxalic acid to form those oxalates. And then they can accumulate in your bones and your teeth, displacing that normal tissue, causing the weakness and demineralizing and cysts. It can also affect your nerves and, and causing nerve irritation and dysfunction. They can affect your brain, lead to unrestful sleep, neuropathic pain, poor concentration, mental and emotional fatigue, uh, mood problems, other brain issues. And it can lead to twitching, loss of coordination, unsteadiness, and muscle weakness. And you might experience light noise or tooth in, uh, skin sensitivity, um, carpal tunnel syndrome, all of these things could be symptoms. Also, immune system reactions. It can trigger an autoimmune issue that leads to inflammatory diseases. And by aggravating the immune system, you could experience conditions that affect the skin, the joints, and other organs like arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, and even celiac. Also can affect your thyroid. Many cases of hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's are caused by oxalate poisoning. They accumulate in the thyroid gland, especially when you're low in the necessary iodine to produce that T4. Four, four stands for four atoms of iodine. And if you're over the age of 50, there's an 85% chance that you have oxalates in your thyroid gland. 85% chance. The thyroid is the second most common place that oxalates like to accumulate behind the bones. You might get digestive issues from oxalate poisoning. It can cause issues that um, cause the inhibition of processing those oxalates. So it's a vicious cycle. And then that makes the, the digestive issues worse. It becomes such a, the, the oxalate microcrystals in foods have sharp and pointy edges, and these needle shaped ones can peripherate mucous membranes in the cells, and the crystals can corrode your digestive system and the lining. As a result, you develop gastroenteritis, leaky gut, rectal pain, constipation, diarrhea, diarrhea, whole bunch of issues. This can also cause urogenital problems. Oxalates excess can cause issues in the urinary tract infections or a urinary tract causing urinary urgency, um, frequent bladder issues, urethral pain, incontinence, uh, kidney pain, kidney stones, like I mentioned at the beginning here, and so many other issues. You, a lot of people get urinary tract infections over and over and over again, and this is from oxalates. When the load is high and it overwhelms the kidneys, the urinary tract may become irritated by those high levels of sharp corrosive oxalate uh, crystals that pass through. And this can cause that frequent urination, incontinence, and pain. And next, it can cause nutritional issues. In addition to calcium, oxalic acid may combine with iron or magnesium, other nutrition or other nutrients, locking them away so that you're not absorbing them. So this is another problem. So what do we do? You don't want to actually eliminate all of the oxalates 100% and go cold turkey. But I would say you want, to, you want to stop eating the biggest offenders right away. And I mentioned the almonds, the beets, the spinach, almonds and spinach, almonds and spinach, juicing. You don't wanna be juicing your vegetables. That is a great place to start. But what else can you do? The accelerated ascent diet cleanse. I've put this cleanse together to help with so many things in addition to detoxing from oxalates. This comprehensive cleanse includes that accelerated keto, the accelerated iodine, accelerated silver, the accelerated cellular detox power, powder, wild lights, and a liver flush kit 
and something to also help you go to the bathroom and help with constipation. The synergy between these supplements not only opens up the oxalate detoxification pathways, but also increases ATP production and efficacy, increasing mitophagy and autophagy, which is the cleaning up of the, the disease cells and mitochondria in your body, increases thyroid health and metabolism, mental clarity, physical energy, endurance, and all of the anti-inflammatory mechanisms in the body. So it essentially zeroes out or really helps with the issues that you might have from high oxalate poisoning. As a result, clients lose body fat, especially the dangerous visceral fat. They increase their cells integrity wall, the cells wall integrity, which is also called the phase angle. And that's the ability for the body to get rid of the toxins and the oxalates and absorb the nutrients properly. This also includes um, that wildlife. I just want to touch on that a little more. This goes beyond the scope of just a, a, an electrolyte balance. It actually opens up those oxalate detoxification pathways. And the accelerated keto suppresses your appetite for the carbs and the sugar containing the foods that are high in oxalate and helps you intermittent fast and focus on the meats and the feet, the fats that don't F, F, essentially don't have any oxalates at all. Meats and fats, imagine that. As your body fasts, the gut is able to heal and detox from oxalates in addition to the other toxins. And it's detoxing the fat from your liver as well. The acceleridine is giving you the proper amount of iodine needed to help detox you from the oxalate and the acceleridine is the only iodine that has 100% absorption and can help reverse the Hashimoto's, the hypothyroidism caused by oxalate poisoning. What else can you do? The X39 patch. These patches increases your own stem cell productions and resets over 4,000 genes to a younger state. As a result, it's going to help repair collagen in all the tissues, activate stem cell production, encourage that apoptosis of cancer cells and disease cells. And it's also going to, going to improve the detoxification pathways, including those of the oxalates. The Eon patch helps with reducing the inflammation in the body. Now it's also going to help with your mood and put you into a parasympathetic state and just a relaxed state, but the benefits also include healthy inflammatory response, a reduction of cortisol and C-reactive proteins. And it's like eating 30 cups of royal jelly a day, which is connected to increased longevity. With all of that, and with the reduction of the inflammation in joints and the kidneys, the detoxification of the oxalates is enhanced and symptoms of oxalate poisoning is decreased. Next, the liquid biocell collagen. This is the only collagen that our body takes in and says, oh, I recognize that because it looks just like the collagen that I have in my body. A lot of collagen supplements are coming from sources that our bodies don't recognize. And so we just don't take it in. And this is gonna help with the damage done by oxalate deposits in the bones and the joints and help relieve that arthritic pain. Also, you can use exercise and sauna therapy. Both of these tools will help increase detoxification, speeding up the oxalate dumping process. And if you'd like to discuss your personal symptoms, determine if they're from oxalates, you can email me through the website, acceleratedhealthproducts.com, or just comment below. I'm happy to help. Thanks for joining me today. And if I can help you any further, let me know. Thank you and, and share this episode with your friends and family that may need my help. Also, don't miss my episodes on Accelerated Health Radio and TV, where my guests share their cutting edge modalities to optimize their health and accelerate their bodies, minds, and spirits. See you in the next episode of Accelerated Health Bites.